Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today have I got a deal for you. Are you looking for an awesome desktop computer for not too much money? Are you looking for a deal? This might be something you want to consider. What I've got on my desk here is a $300 gaming computer. Yes, I said $300. Yes, I said gaming computer. And it's better than you might suspect. There's a lot of value to be had if you don't need to have state of the art. I have done a video on this computer before. A link to that will be in the video description below. That video covers how to find the deal, what to look for, etc. In summary, I bought this machine off of eBay. I paid less than $150 for it. This is a five-year-old Intel second generation i5 processor. It has four true cores, four threads, it is a great chip. Now, it's certainly not state of the art. The current generation that's state of the art is sixth generation. This is second, so it's four generations old. But it's not as slow as you might think. It certainly is not as fast as the current stuff, but it's actually not that bad, especially for the price. It's a value. It's a lot of performance for the money. I've made a couple of changes to this machine. Now, Understand the changes you make will depend on your circumstances and what you actually find. I am not specifically recommending a Dell Optiplex mini tower as you see in front of you. I am recommending computers based on the i5-2400 second generation processor. That previous video I did talks about how to find them. It could be a Dell, it could be an HP, it could be a Lenovo, it could be an Acer, it does not matter the brand. But if you want to have a gaming machine, you really need to have it in a mini tower case like this. If it comes in one of those super slim, super short cases, those aren't really upgradable. And so you can't play games on them because they don't have any place to put graphics. This computer, on the other hand, does. Let me show you what I've done to it. First thing is I installed a video card because the integrated graphics from five years ago are truly terrible. So they're not even worth messing with. This here is a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti gaming graphics card. That's a mouthful, I know. It's a 750 Ti. What is that? It's a $100 video card. That card will play most current games at, seven, at, uh, excuse me, at full HD, at 1080p, at medium or better detail, at 60 frames per second. Let me put some asterisks in there. Different games will require different setting adjustments. Fallout 4 will require that you set it to medium and then turn a few settings off, uh, anti-aliasing most notably. Um, Grand Theft Auto requires most of the settings at normal. A few of them can be at high, but you certainly can't turn everything all the way up. Battlefield 4, you'll be able to play at high detail. Uh, Call of Duty, you'll be able to play at medium detail, and so on and so forth. So you certainly can't turn everything to Uber, but for $350, what do you expect? Now, in case you're wondering why I put a GTX 750 Ti in there, I believe if you put anything more in there, you cause yourself more trouble than it's worth, and you're misplacing that you're, you're putting in too much graphics card for the processor. If you put a $200 graphics card into a machine that you bought for $120, you're not building a balanced machine. You're, you need something newer if you're going to spend that much. The other issue is more powerful graphics cards require power supplies with dedicated PCI Express power connectors. A GTX 960, for example, requires a 6-pin or 8-pin, depending on the model, PCI Express power connector, and these power supplies almost never come with those. You can change the power supply, but now you're spending even more money. You're missing the value. So a GTX 750 Ti video card, all I had to do to install this was, now this is gonna be different depending on the machine that you use. This piece of plastic just has a pressure clip that opens and the card just slid right in. That's it, there's nothing else to do, there's nothing to hook up, there's nothing to plug, there's nothing to configure, the, wind, the computer automatically detects it. That's all there is to it. You plug your HDMI cable directly into the video card and you're done. The other change I made was I took out the hard drive this machine came with. This computer came with a 250 gigabyte old slow hard drive. Now the machine you find on eBay may be different. You might find one with a 500 gig drive or maybe even a terabyte drive, who knows? If so, well, keep it. But I took this out because it's old and slow and it's not large enough to be useful. 
I put two drives in this machine. The first drive I put in right here in this blue connector right here, this is actually a drive tray. I, I took this out, stuck that in. That is a one terabyte 7200 RPM Western Digital hard drive. It's the blue model. Much, much faster than this old thing. That drive is $50. Why did I put it in there? Because you need room to install games. Grand Theft Auto 5 is 63 gigabytes. That thing is huge. You install five games, you could easily take up more space than this thing will even provide. Now below it, right here, is a solid state drive. It's a small one, 120 gigabyte solid state drive. I paid $37 for it. There are multiple cheap SSDs out these days that you can buy for under $40 or around $40 at the 120 gig size. Now you could certainly get a 240 gig drive for about $60, $20 more, um, and you can double the space of your SSD, but I wanted to keep the price point of this machine to $300. I paid just over 110, I paid about 115 for it. So the computer, the hard drive, the solid state drive, and the video card is right at about $300. That 120 gig SSD will make Windows install and boot wicked fast. Much, much faster, as much as 10 times faster than if we installed it on the hard drive. Now, if you get a machine that comes with a bigger drive or you already have a hard drive laying around, by all means use it. You, you don't have to buy that. I'm just, I'm using it as an example of what's useful because we'll install Windows on the SSD, but we'll put our games on the hard drive. Now, ideally, I would love to install the games on the, on the SSD, on the solid state drive, but of course that blows up the price of the computer. So that's what's in here. I haven't changed anything else. This came with four gig, oh, one thing I will show you. This came with four gigabytes of RAM. The other reason you wanna buy a mini tower like this is most, not all, most of these mini towers have four memory slots. This one has four memory slots. It came with four gigabytes of RAM to two gigabyte sticks. You can use four gigs. Four gigs is still marginally useful in 2016. I ultimately might upgrade the RAM in this. Um, for less than $30, you can buy an eight gigabyte kit, which is two four gig sticks, and drop in the two empty uh, memory stick bays, giving you a total of 12 gigabytes of RAM, which of course is plenty. You can, you can run everything in that. I, you could certainly buy a four gig kit, which is two two gig sticks, but the problem you'll run into is those don't really cost a whole lot less. If you can find a deal on one, by all means, but you know, it's easy to upgrade. The other thing about this machine is it comes with Windows 7. Why is this a big deal? Well, first of all, you can just use Windows 7 if you're happy with Windows 7. The trick is Windows 7 is currently sitting on the hard drive. Now you could clone it and copy it to the SSD if you want, but instead we're gonna do something else. We're gonna do a clean install of Windows 10 from this USB thumb drive onto the solid state drive. How are we gonna do this? We're going to use the Windows 7 product key that's on this case. Microsoft now lets you do that, at least until July 29. We don't know if they're gonna extend it or not, you know, but currently the free upgrades are till July 29. We'll see what happens after that. But you can do a clean install off of a USB thumb drive type in your Windows 7 product key, and it will activate and give you a fully licensed forever version of Windows 10 without having to do an upgrade or clone or any other nonsense mess. Now that's gonna be another video. I'll do, I'll do that after I finish this, but at the end of this, we're gonna have a machine that cost me a grand total of $300, and that includes the computer, that includes the video card, that includes a one terabyte hard drive, that includes the solid state drive, and Windows 10, because Windows 7 comes with it. And then I'm gonna do a series of gaming performance videos to show you how well a $300 computer that is five years old, that's had a couple of parts added to it, plays the latest and greatest games. So, did you like this video? Like it. Did you not? That's okay. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big red button below the video down there. If this was helpful to you, please do so, because that's how you get notifications of upcoming videos. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, that's what the comment section below is for. 
I certainly appreciate it. Be sure to watch the original video, which will be linked in the video description, showing where to find this on eBay and how to get a deal on it. And of course, the follow-up videos, which will be coming shortly, showing the installation of Windows, Windows performance, as well as gaming performance on this machine. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.